In this video we're going to talk about finding the domain or range of a function or a relation uh, based on a graph. Okay, so if we're just given a graph of a function or relation, how can we determine what the domain and range uh, are? So let's look at an example. Find the domain and range of the following functions. So we have a function here. Uh, you could call it f or g, whatever you want to call it. The question is, what is the domain and what is the range? Well, the domain is the set of all possible input values. We think of the domain as occurring along the x-axis. And notice all these numbers in this interval, okay, from minus 2 up to 5, can be input into the function. You, you could think of the function as just sort of being uh, projected down or up onto the x-axis here, and that will be the domain. So the domain is really an interval minus 2 to 5, and I'm not going to put curly braces around here. I'm going to put closed uh, brackets here because the domain includes minus 2 and it includes 5 and it includes all the numbers in between them. And by the way, it's not just the numbers minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It includes all of the decimals as well, 1.7, 3.4, and so forth. So it's really a whole interval. You can't list out all the numbers. There'd be infinitely many of them. Now the range is the set of all output values. And notice if we projected this function onto the y-axis here, we'd be uh, projecting onto this uh, interval here along the y-axis between minus 1 and 3. Okay, and all those numbers between minus 1 and 3 are possible output values, so that is the range. Okay, minus 1 to 3. So the domain and the range are intervals. Okay, now this example right here is slightly different than the previous one uh, in the sense that notice at the endpoints here we have our open circles. What that means is that those points are not a part of the graph. Okay, so 7 is not in the domain of the function. Okay, but 6.9 is, and 6.999 is, but 7 isn't, and 1 isn't because we have these open circles. So notice, what is the domain in this case? Well, it's the domain is the whole interval from 1 to 7, but not including including 1 and not including 7. Okay, so what we'd say is it's the open interval from 1 to 7. So instead of putting brackets here, we're going to put open parentheses. Now, if it if this one on the right-hand side had been filled in, if the 7 one had been filled in, we put a bracket around the 7 and a parenthesis around the 1. Okay, but neither of these, these are both open circles, they're not filled in, so we put parentheses on both sides. Okay, now what about the range? Well, notice the range you can get all possible output values between 1 and 4. If we take this graph projected onto the y-axis, this is what we get. Now notice you can't get 1 as an output because of the open circle here, but you can get any other number as an output all the way up to and including 4. Right? If you were to plug in, say, 2.7 or something, you get an output of 4. And what about this place here where it has 3 as an output? Could you get 3 as an output? Yeah, you could get 3 as an output based on a point over here. So the range is going to be, in this case, the range will be uh, the interval from 1 to 4, but it will be closed at 4 and open at 1. Okay, finally, suppose we have a, a, a function like this. And this one, uh, actually, I, I thought about this. This one could have a formula, something like x squared plus 1, f of x equals x squared plus 1. Okay, and the question is, what is the domain and range here? Now, notice I haven't put circles at the, at the endpoints. I put arrows on the end. Sometimes it won't include arrows, but as long as it doesn't have a, a dark filled in dot, you can kind of assume the graph just keeps continuing on and on forever in both directions here. Okay, and so what is the domain? Well, notice... Uh, any real number. You can put in any real number you want and that would be the domain. So you could either uh, state it in words, all real numbers, or you could write it in interval notation. It's the interval from minus infinity to infinity. And uh, the sideways looking 8 here, that, that's uh, the infinity symbol. So it's the interval from minus infinity to infinity. And by the way, you always use open parentheses, not closed brackets, around infinities. Okay, now what about the range? Well, the range, uh, notice we can't get all possible outputs for the range. The range is just the numbers that are bigger than or equal to 1. Okay, so the range would be the interval from 1 to infinity. 1 all the way up to infinity. We put an open, bra uh, open parenthesis around infinity, as, as always, but it includes 1, right? f of 0 is 1, so 1 is a possible output. So the range in this case would be uh, the closed interval from 1 to, uh, well, it, infinity, and it's, and it's open at infinity. So that's how you find the domain and range based on a graph.